Um, so think of your celebrity crush. Would you be willing to share him with other women, but you're the main chick? No. Clay Thompson. <laughs> he, you're the no. main chick, but you have to share him. No, I just like wouldn't even do that. NBA, very famous NBA player, no. tall, taller than your current. I'll stick to team. my inconsistent six five baseball player. Thank you. Is he is he a white boy? Yeah, he's okay. strawberry blonde. He's almost ginger. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> um, no. You would like, not share I'm, Hayden, I'm not young Hayden Christensen. No, I don't care. Okay. I said I don't care about status or fame. Like if they're not gonna like sure. the whole thing. Yeah, I would not share either. No. No. I would. You would. <laughs> yeah. So you would share young that. Leonardo DiCaprio. For a chance with Leonardo DiCaprio, yes. Yeah, and young Leonardo. We'll drop Di- you when you're 25. Oh <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah we should pull that up. <laughs> That's true, but I'd be living well until then. <laughs> <laughs> nice yacht, a little party. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And I mean, if I mean, from, you can use him for his yacht. From what I've heard of uh, young Leonardo DiCaprio, I mean, even current Mo- Leonardo DiCaprio, he got he got around, <laughs> definitely got around. I'm so. Not yeah. So. Cam Newton. I want to yeah, open it up. Last thing, guys. Um, what? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I want to open it up to you guys. Final thought or question, either for if you want to ask the panel, you want to ask me something. Natasha, we'll start with you. Um. Final thought or question. I'm surprised. I feel like we all have like a lot of the same opinions on things. I think yeah. none of us like hookup culture. None of us like guys who cheat necessarily um so yeah i think we can skip me until i maybe think of something yeah i don't have anything i have nothing yeah i, have I, don't, have anything. Anything. <laughs> I don't have anything no okay nothing don't who was the one who wanted to dump more trauma or oh what? My was God. that you okay one segment that you did that i watched like pull the microphone closer a towards while you ago was like you asked i really liked listening to the people's answer it was like you asked if a relationship should be equal partnership sure i like that question you should go ask the panel that okay we'll do that so um, what's your answer oh i have to go first um so i think it was like talked about like if it was like should be 50 50 and i think when like you're like considering like an equal partnership in a relationship you have to like consider like outside factors and not everyone is capable of the same amount of effort you are and like i would be okay if in like a 60 40 relationship like i'm giving 60 percent and they're giving 40 percent if that's all they're capable of doing as long as it's like you know it's like as much like effort as they can put and like their best foot is being put forward and then like I mean, like, I don't know if that's considered, like, equal partnership, but I think that, like, you have to just consider, like, the outside factors that, like, affect how much effort someone is able to put in. What's the percentage split on your current relationship? 70-30. 70-30. I had to do that. (laughs) You're doing 70 and he's doing 30. I would say that. I mean, it's not, no, okay, it's not even like that because, like, I'm, like, someone who, like, matches energy to a T. So, like, whatever, like, I want to put in, like, 100 million, 10%, but, like, I'm not going to do that because I'm literally just going to match whatever he does. So it's not even that. It's, like, honestly, like, I would say it's, like, 55, 45. Like, I don't even know. It's just, like, I'm just going to match whatever, however he acts. So, yeah. Okay. Do you believe in 50-50 relationships? Yeah, but I personally like when the guy puts more effort cuz it's Me just too. more romantic and it's just it feels like he's providing and I'm like and I feel like the woman is like you know, giving being there for like emotional support, whatnot and like the guy provides material comfort and like it's just more strong that way i feel like mm-hmm. um yeah i think 50 50 is a good like relationship dynamic i think if you're going to be in a relationship then you guys are both you know a team and helping each other out so i think it should be 50 50. yeah i would second everything she just said i think it should be 50 50. Yeah, I agree. Like, as long as you're giving 100% of your effort or mm-hmm. whatever you can give to your yeah. partner, then it's 50-50. I 
I think it's hard for relationships to be 50-50, especially if the man is like the provider in a family because he's obviously going out and exerting more work into the world. He's, you know, getting money, getting, you know, working and stuff. Um, but I think the woman also serves a really important role in the relationship, so... I think, like, being, like, a housewife and, like, taking care of children is really, really important to their relationship as well. Mm. And it puts a lot of, like, help mm. in, into their relationship. You're putting a lot of effort by staying at home and taking care of children. It's, it's a really big role, and it's super time-consuming and exhausting. And I think that that is pretty much 50-50. Yeah. You're staying home and taking care of the kids and the man. Uh, provides money and that's pretty much 50-50 and I think that's I know but how good. can you do like 50-50 in like a relationship at like 18-19 though because like that's like a that's like years away like that's like I a actually, total it might be the best time to do 50-50 is when you're young because when you start getting older and then finances come into mm -hmm. picture yeah, yeah that's true then that's when it gets yeah I when think, you're very young complicated. You're, just, you're just hanging out like you, nobody's really like yeah like pa Being paying for other people's yeah. stuff like nobody's putting food on the table like you're not living together it's more of like you're just dating and you're it's rising. and it's light and it's fun yeah yeah i mean and also there's been a lot of comments in the chat saying 100 100 i think that's a good attitude to have mm -hmm. towards this both yeah, people like need to be saying, like 100 percent, 100 percent. but like people's 100 percent look different and you just have to like know your person and know yeah. It, yeah. like yeah, what, that's what true. their 100 percent yeah. looks like because my 100 percent can look a lot different from like what's your 100 percent? a lot but i never I like it i never <laughs> i feel like i never get to show my 100 percent ever because like i said i'm such like a match energy i just want to like back up and just like I'm such like a match energy like when it comes to like relationships and I haven't like had a guy who's like shown like so much effort that it like it wouldn't like feel invalidating to do like all the things that I do want to do for him if that makes any sense yeah well you're I think you are dating younger guys and yeah but I like yeah I don't like to see myself like dating anyone older I'm like I'm not uh, that's not what I'm suggesting oh, I but I just of, when yeah. you're younger I think people are still kind of working out yeah. how to like a lot of people haven't even had like a long-term relationship yeah. so it's like you know they don't really know how to maneuver correctly and I think it's and like so true like I feel like all like girls are good with this like because this is always said like when you get out of a relationship like he doesn't know what he wants like that's like like so like true like I feel like they just don't know what they want. Like, I don't know. Word? Word. Word. Well, so I guess my question is, so a lot of you said like 50-50 relationships, da da da. But all of you said like for the paying for the first date thing that essentially the guy should pay. You y'all said whoever but asks should pay. Our biggest thing is like there's a difference between like going on a first date versus like a relationship. Yeah, exactly. That's like two, like but, totally but what different precedes things. a relationship? There's the initial dating stage. Like the day that you asked me to be your girlfriend, we're in a relationship. Mm -hmm. Like that's the date. Like that day. Like now. Well, but what precedes a relationship is the dating stage. So you're saying I don't want to do fifty-fifty during the well. I mean, just the yes, first. I feel women. like the first date is just like that's just like a huge deciding factor. The day after, I mean. I mean, I really don't mind, like, paying for guys. Like, that's not, like, a huge deal. I mean, the first one, like, it'd be nice. But, I mean, if we split the bill, whatever. I mean, yeah, I would probably, like, agree. Like, I probably wouldn't be, like, 100% motivated to, like, keep something going with you. Um, but, I mean, I mean, like, after, it's just, like, the first date is just, like, the huge deciding factor. I'm like, yeah, the guy should probably pay. And then, like, whatever proceeds after that, then it's kind of, like, a mix-up. Like, it's just a toss-up on whether who pays then. 